Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video of Minecraft Science. Today, I was messing around with the new portal of Minecraft 1.4, and actually, you can now pass items and entities through the, and mobs also, through the portal. So that's something pretty cool, and I wanted to make something new. And I, that was passing redstone signals through a portal. So what you have here in front of you is the output of a redstone, uh, redstone TPR, which is a transportal redstone. So it's actually this here is gonna get a redstone from the uh, redstone signal from the nether and get it here to the overworld to activate pistons like this one or these guys here and here I set a bunch of tests for example here is just a normal output here I got a big delay and here I also have a post shortener to vortex and that's the idea so let's go to the nether and I can show you how to control it you can actually to get it from the over to the nether as well but okay here is the input and you can connect anything to it but here I only got a simple button but anyway here you can see I got arrows on each of these and that's actually the concept behind it the arrows are gonna be shot in the the portal and I'm gonna fall on one of those pressure plates which are gonna activate a redstone signal so let's press here the button if I am able to you can see the arrows were shot and they vanished now if you come here you can see here it's activating quite decently and actually the arrows are sitting in these here so there's a burst sharpener so here you can grab the arrows they are a little bit buggy because when you get the uh, when they go through the portal they actually become invisible when they fall on the pressure plates and that's something really weird but it's only a bug what you can expect from minecraft right but anyway this bunch of pistons here the test about it was actually because uh, you don't need to be on the world for the chunks to be loaded and activating the redstone which is a pretty nice function so a problem I thought I would come by is that when you press the button the arrows would only come here when the chunks were loaded but actually they come here press the, the pleasure plates and do all their job and the chunks aren't even loaded so it's something pretty cool and uh, let me show you here how it works can just get here to the nether and press the button now we can just hang up stay here for a moment see the magical waterfalls of the nether lava falls sorry and wait for that delay to pass by with some little bit of lag your lag but okay let's come back now and you can see they are all activated, the post shortener already worked and everything already happened. So that's a pretty nice function. And another thing that you might be wondering, why do I have two sides of the thing? Uh, actually, the portal sometimes, a uh, little bit here, but sometimes it goes, the arrow goes to the other side. And normally it goes to the correct side, but when you do any changes to portal for example uh, firstly when I built this there was gone to this side then when I built this portal over here they was started going to this side something weird but pretty cool okay but that's basically how the concept works of course you can compact this a really really gigantic amount but this is just a concept I just wanted to show you off my TPR or transportal nether system and here in the nether you could actually uh, do any anything you can activate anything from the nether to on the overworld or anything on the nether from the overworld 
which is pretty really cool and a really nice concept I came up with so I really hope you do enjoy this concept let's test it another time can you shoot it here go through the portal you see it uh, activating it's like blaze yet didn't come but that's the concept after all and it's a pretty nice concept hope you do enjoy and in the end as always I'm Vower and I hope I see you next time